This is going to be a video about how to update the boot block and firmware on your AutoCal or your V2. The process is the same. After that, we're going to update the VBX files for the menu as well. First thing you're going to do is get EFLI V8 scan tune installed on your computer. If you don't already have it installed, you just go to EFLive.com. Go to the download page and hit download and install it on your computer. Once that's done, we're going to program the updates. So in order to do that, you're going to plug the AutoCal or V2 into the computer with the USB cable and let the drivers load. Once it's connected, open up V8. And you see down here in the corner, it says we have to update the firmware. We're going to click on the unit that we're updating. In this case, it's the AutoCal. We'll click on EFI V8 control panel. Now we'll see that the red means it's out of date and needs to be updated. Uh, if it's up to date, this will be green and this update box will not be there. So this one needs both the boot block and firmware updated so we're going to click on update boot block all right now that's done hit okay and now we can do update firmware all right once that's done we can exit out of the screen and then go to BBX. Since this is a blank unit, doesn't show anything here. What you're gonna to need to do is program in your scan features, tune features. So you're gonna to have to select what kind of truck you are programming. Uh, say in this case, we have a 2005 LOI. So we're going to right click in this upper box here, click on add. We're going to right click in the left box and we will select E60 LOI Duramax. And hit OK. That loads that. Go down to the tune, same thing. And that's it. Now if it was a different truck, let's say it was a LMM or LML uh, Cummins, same thing. Just click on which controller you have, hit OK, and that's it. So once you got both those selected, you can click on this little down arrow next to the program button and click on configure files slower yes and it does take a little bit of time once that's complete okay that's it now this bottom box here for scanning what you can do if you want to view different PIDs for data logging you can go through here and add in different parameters so you want to look at RPM uh, engine coolant temperature, vehicle speed, so on and so forth. There's a, a lot of different parameters. You just got to keep an eye on this bar down here. Make sure you don't go above what the range is capable of. And uh, same thing, just program that in. And you're good to data log with the AutoCal or V2 remotely. That's it.